so this is my updated car tour video this is my bed my mattress is a memory foam mattress that i got off amazon the link for that is in the description area of this video i'm five feet seven and a half inches and i have plenty of space a lot of people just extend the bed all the way to the edge like to the edge as far as it can go so you can get a longer mattress and easily um, fit in here if you're taller than me I took out the passenger seat the front passenger seat and part of the the back passenger seat so that I could install this bed frame um, I have I have a clip somewhere showing the bed frame without the mattress on it so I'll go ahead and insert that in here so that you can see how the bed frame looks this is how my car looks when there is nothing in it It's a really simple design and it's been working well for me for two and a half years, going on three years of living in my car. Just a piece of wood and those two little rectangular pieces on the bottom to support the wood. And that's it. That has been working for me for the last two and a half years and I feel it's really comfortable. I don't have any problems sleeping in my car. Um, I have all of this space underneath there where I removed the passenger seat. And yeah, it's been working out really well. This is the back seat behind the driver's side. And here I just wanted to show you that that whole seat is still there. I didn't have to take out all of my seats. So for that side of the car, I just fold it down the bottom part of the seat and then fold it the back part down like many cars do these days. And yeah, I was happy that I could do that because I really didn't want to move, take out all of my seats. And that's all I did to install my bed. And I'm just giving you one last look of my car without anything in it because this is a rare sight. So I hope you found this helpful. This is, you'll see, this is where I have some storage. This is dirty laundry. That's dirty laundry. And behind there, I have some cans of butane for my camp stove and I also have back there just random things like some cleaning spray when I wipe down things I have a flashlight just random things go under here and the biggest change that some of you might notice notice is this this was not here in my first car tour video but I had a battery installed I was having so many issues okay let me let this person drive by I was having so many issues with my power source that I mentioned in one of my previous videos when I gave you my life update and I was telling you about the stresses I was going through. Um, my power source issue was the cause of many frustrations for me. So I finally spent the money and I got a lithium battery. This is a 100 amp hour, however you say it, lithium battery. I have a battery charger and I have a 2000 watt um, Renogy inverter. So before, before in my first car tour video, I had none of this under here. This was just all storage, but I got rid of all the storage I had under here because I really wanted, I really wanted this set up and I'm so grateful. I did not install this myself. I will not give, provide a video on how to install this in a car. I went to a professional and had them install it. It was worth the money because I didn't want to do it. <laughs> so my Musa ended up finding a place who did it for me. They were so kind. Um, they knew exactly what I wanted. Um, so if you want to have someone install this for you, at like a, if you want someone to install this stuff for you and you don't want to do it yourself, look for a company that installs like stereos, like stereo systems and things like that. Um, yeah, those are the types of people who know about this. Because from what Musa told me, 
a lot of these like high-end cars sports cars and stuff and they have these crazy stereo systems like they need extra batteries they need a lot of extra things added to their car to handle all the all of the gadgets and stuff they want to their in their car so they were the perfect people to do this for me because they knew all about adding batteries and things like that so they were cool they were like yeah we know what you want and they didn't make me feel weird about it about having this done in my car um yeah, they were just really kind. I'll put, I'll have the links to these below. Battleborn battery. This is a Victron battery charger and a Renergy, Renergy 2000 watt inverter. This is just um, a little multimeter, whatever you call it, to check the, to check the voltage in your batteries. So I have this down here as well. And the Renergy inverter came with this little on and off switch. And I bought this on Amazon, just um, it's connected to the battery so that I don't always have to use this in order to see how full or how low the battery is. This is connected and it tells me. And it's pretty consistent, I've been checking it. Like I'll use that to see if it matches with this and it always matches every time. So I got this on Amazon, I'll leave a link for all of this. But this is the biggest change, the biggest update in my car tour. That I've been excited to share with you all and I'm so so happy I can open this up open it up to access everything here so this is a different view of my power you want to make sure that you have an isolator like this battery this battery charger also works as an isolator and I'm not a technical person. If I say something wrong, just correct me in the comments. But I, th I think the isolator, it ensures that this battery doesn't drain your actual car battery too much because you don't want your car battery to die. So when your car battery gets to a certain voltage, then it cuts off the power. And this one, this battery will stop. This battery will stop taking power from the car battery. And that's really important. Um, and this battery charger comes with a little app, so you can see on the app. Um, so you can see things on the app, the voltage, um, and other complicated things that I don't know about. <laughs> but it has an app, and it's really cool, so you can find information about the charger through the app on your phone. And whenever this battery isn't getting charged, the inverter, like when it gets to a certain voltage, the inverter starts going off and this thing starts beeping so then you have to um, turn it off otherwise it's just going to keep beeping and keep be beeping it wakes me up and that's happened to me a few times and I just turn the car on for a few minutes and I let it charge back up um, and then I turn this back on and everything's fine the cord to the inverter it goes like underneath there and it comes out here and I had um, the guy installed a surge protector, a surge protector for me. So I have this surge protector right here and this is how I power all of my things. Right now I have my bad camera battery charging. This is charging my fan. My fan right here is charging. And this is charging my earbuds. And this one is for my refrigerator and it goes around there and charges my refrigerator. And this is how I ended up getting my refrigerator back. Because if you look at my last, um, if you look at the video where I discuss my life update, I tell you that I lost my fridge for a while, for several months. I had to give up, give up my fridge because I didn't have a, a good enough power source to power it consistently every single day. And that made me sad and I was determined. <laughs> that's, really, that's really what pushed me to get my new power source is when I had to give up my fridge. And this area, and my last, um, and the first car tour video, I think I had that big Yeti Gold Zero. And it was like, it was either back here or I eventually moved it to right here. And it just took up so much space. And now I just have all of this extra space. Like it doesn't look like much in the camera, but it's a lot of extra space. I could put my feet here. I can put groceries here or whatever. And it's really convenient. Um, this is my laptop bag. This is my gym bag. I have my, I just hang it up here. 
on this. This is my bathroom bag. These are my clothes. It's just a little container and I have those little compression cube thingies and I have clothes in there. And this, this is a shower caddy. <laughs> A shower caddy that I got online and I just keep random things that I use every day so uh, this is a vacuum this was also a newer purchase I didn't have this in my first car tour video this is a shark wand it's not super powerful but it's really slim and it's convenient for car life when you live in your car you're gonna learn that compact things are the way to go you have to find things that are small and compact so I have my vacuum in here this is where I keep my little camera that I'm filming on and my Apple Pencil, random stuff here. I use this to like brush vegetables and a spoon and a towel, kitchen towel. Yeah, just random little things that I use every day. This is a little Apple core. I have some vitamins down here. I have a neti pot, <laughs> a neti pot in here. Um, my utensils are up here and yeah. This is very, very convenient. I highly recommend. Oops. I highly recommend you get this shower caddy if you decide to live in your car. It's really convenient so that you don't have to go through a bunch of containers, opening and closing containers, just to get to everyday items that everyday items that you need. This is my fan, which is a must. This thing helps keep me so cool in the summer and spring. I also keep the windows cracked and I have these mosquito nets that I bought off Amazon. I'll put these in the description box as well. Um, oh, another new addition I got to my vehicle are rain guards. I have these rain guards so that I can crack my window a little bit and no one can tell that the window is cracked and I could get some, you know, circ air circulation in the car. The second biggest change that I made from the first car tour video, oh, all these bugs are flying in my car, is this area. I really wanted to have the whole passenger side free. In the first car tour video, this was stacked all the way up with stuff. This side was stacked and this side was stacked. And I didn't like that because my feet would like touch stuff when I would sleep and I just felt it felt it made the, it made the car feel smaller. So I worked really hard to downsize and get rid of things. And and as you live and go throughout car life, you'll realize the things that you really need and the things that you really don't need. So I've downsized a lot since um, when I first moved in here. But I finally have all of this space to do things. Now, this is where I cook. When I first moved in my car, I would have to lift up my bed and I would use this area. I would put that cutting board under here and cook here because this area was so full. But now I don't have to do that. Um, so I just cook right here and I put my ingredients over here in this extra space here. And it just it just really helps. It makes everything feel so much more spacious and I love it. These are my water jugs, two one gallon water jugs. This is where I keep my camp stove. My camp stove. I just keep that here behind the refrigerator. In between here and the refrigerator, I have a little dolly that I need sometimes if I'm carrying stuff up to my office. Um, a pan that I cook from, <laughs> some cereal, and yeah, don't put too much stuff next to your your um, refrigerator though because there are vents right here. There are vents right here and right here and they need air. Like these cannot be blocked. Otherwise it'll mess up your refrigerator. So having a dolly here is fine because there are holes in the dolly and it's not like up against the refrigerator. So I just put a few things over here for storage. Up here I have some random things. Um, I got an air fryer. So these are some liners for the air fryer so that nothing sticks. I got a kettle 
a collapsible electric kettle. And I just have random things. This is a TENS unit. Um, this is an immersion blender I use when I make my protein smoothies. A little immersion blender. Um, a little steam basket for my instant pot. And yeah, just random stuff in here. I really hope I'm getting the angles that you all want. In the last of car tour video, I was told that they wished some people, I was told that some people wished the angles were a little bit wider so they could like fully see everything. But my lens is as wide as it can go. So I hope you can really see everything. Um, in this container, I just have food. That's some lentil pasta. Um, these are hemp seeds. I have salt in there. Um, cumin. These are my collapsible buckets. I use this one to like wash dishes in or to wash up in when I have to wash up myself. When I have to wash up. And yeah. And this is what the collapsible tray I eat on. This is the collapsible tray I eat on. And here, yeah, I have some. I have some agave nectar, some peanut butter, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, sesame oil, some rice, ramen noodle, um, brown rice ramen noodles way in the back. Yeah, just random seasonings and stuff in here. I have the little kitchen cabinet liner on here so that things don't slide as much. Oh, I'll fix it later. So this is the other side. My bathroom bag, gym bag, clothing. This is the window cover that goes on that window. I just put it over here when it, I'm not using it. This bag has like socks and underwear in it. I just have some random things in here. I use these little areas in the door, kind of like shelves. So I have a book. Oh, here's my mirror. I've been looking for this mirror. <laughs> I have this mirror, this dirty mirror. Oh, yeah. This book, I have this book, Chinese medicine. I have a sun hat. I also have a um, fire extinguisher right here. A little small fire extinguisher. Just random stuff in this drawer, some hand sanitizer. This is my windshield shade. It covers this window when I sleep at night. I use my driver's seat as a little coat hanger <laughs> and scarf hanger. I wrap my scarf around here and yeah, I just hang up my coat. I have a sweatshirt I hang over here too. So yeah, the driver's seat is my coat rack. Whatever you call those things, coat hanger. Oh yeah, I use this area as a bookshelf too. I just have books here. I have, um, this is trash bags I keep in here. This is a knife, <laughs> my little weapon, and and I also got these LED lights, which are really convenient. You can just turn them on. I'll show you what it's like at night, but it's pretty cool. The last thing I need to show you is my attic. <laughs> so in here, I just have a few random thing, kitchen utensils, some mason, mason jars. I have my knife set, um, random food storage bags to put groceries in, an air fryer. I finally got an air fryer. I'm so happy and pleased with it. Um, there's a blanket in there. This is the other part to my Vitamix. And this is my Instant Pot. I just put this over here. I don't know, to try to keep bugs from crawling in or something because bugs do get in your cargo area. Um, a book I have in here. I just have a little bit of extra food stuff. Cashew butter, quinoa, and some 
and some spices and stuff. Oh, in this bag I have tool stuff, like a screwdriver and just like a little tool kit type of thing. I had like an actual tool bag, but someone stole it. I accidentally left it on top of my car and I came back to my car and it was gone. Someone stole it. Trifling people. So this is my car tour. I hope I covered everything. Leave me any questions or comments if you have them. Let me know if I forgot something. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't. But yeah, this is where I live full time. And I love it. It's not always super convenient. And I'll go over some of the pros and cons to this lifestyle in a certain in a different video but I'm really happy with my decision. It's been two and a half years since I've been living in my car and I have no regrets and I have no idea when things will change, when my living situation will change, but I'm in no rush. I'm really happy so I hope this video gave you some ideas and I will see you in the next one. A tip for when you're driving is anything you have like on your refrigerator or just on a shelf or something that's not secure, <laughs> take it down, put it down because it's just going to fall all over the place and cause a mess and everything's going to spill out and yeah, just try to avoid that by taking it down before you drive. I'm about to drive, I'm about to leave this nice campground that I'm at. So I went ahead and took these off the fridge and put them down here so that I don't have to deal with that mess. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.